In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert text into a voiceover by using AI-generated text-to-speech. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can do this so that you can turn any script that you could potentially generate with ChatGBT or just write it yourself into an actual voiceover that sounds good. For that, I'm going to be using Murph.com. AI. Merv.ai is a tool that I've been testing for a while and it sounds pretty cool. They've got a bunch of different voices, which I'll show you today as well. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below in case you like it so that you can get started with a free trial. This is Merv.ai. In order to get going, you can click on the plus icon to start a brand new project. What you can undo is give it a name. For example, test video, just like that. You can then choose a template so you can start blank, which means there's no template. You can do this for an e-learning module, audio ad, IVR system, audiobook, and the list goes on and on. For today, I'm going to just start blank and then click create project. What it's going to do right now is it's going to load up our project inside Murf AI. This is what's called the Murf AI Studio. Now, this is what that looks like. You can see here that there is a character that shows up and a block where you can put in text. Now, as of right now, I don't need to do this manually. I can import scripts by using the feature on the left, and then I can upload a document with the script that I have. For example, this one right here. It's then going to upload, and then once that's done, your entire script will show up. But before that, this is really important in order to make it sound good. Instead of having it done by paragraphs, you want to make sure that this is split by sentences, all right? This is better for video scripts, as you can see right there, dialogues and short scripts. Now, we're doing video scripts, so make sure that you choose that option. And as you can see, our script then gets loaded into the software, and there we go. Next up, what you can do is click on Explore AI Voices so that we can choose the character that we want to use for this. Before you do that, make sure that you click Apply to Entire Project. Otherwise, what will happen is that you'll only change it for one of these specific blocks. As you can see, we currently have Nate as the voiceover. I'm not going to click here. I'm going to uh, select Terrell, and as you can see, Terrell's here, but then all the other ones are Nate. So what you want to do, go back, click Apply Voice to Entire Project, and then choose the one that you want to use. Just to demonstrate that it works, as you can see, everyone is now set to Terrell. So what we can do here is listen to some voices. I'll do that right now. Be aware that you can filter for specific languages as well as accents within those languages. For example, English, you've got UK, Australia, India. For French, you've got France and Canada. So that list goes on and on. Spanish, Mexico, Spanish, Spain, you get the point. So you can choose a language here. So I'm going to go with English UK. And now we're going to get the UK voices, which are right here. We've got Hazel, which sounds like this, for example. Promotional ads are everywhere. While watching a video, streaming music, hearing a podcast, you name it. We've got Jackson. Literary culture in the UK has a rich and varied history. We've got Gabriel. The Earth is home to more than 100 million species of... So you can see that every single voice sounds different. Some sound professional, some sound funky. You get the point. Every character is made for a specific type of video that you want to create so that there's something for you depending on whatever it is that you want to make. Now, these are the US voices. I'll play this one. This one is perfect for like a motivational kind of voice. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. We all have something to share with the world. You can see it's a very deep, very motivational kind of voice. But you also have Natalie, for example, which sounds a lot like the TikTok voice. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made with real chicken. Now that performs really, really well on short form content on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, because people are used to that kind of voice being on these kind of videos. And then there are many more. So what you need to do is select the one that you want to use. I'm going to go with Terrell for now. Click right there and then Terrell select on your entire script. Next up, what you can do is generate the whole script. Now you can do that by clicking on this button here and it's going to generate the audio. This is what I always do first because I can then see how long the video is going to equate to. Because as you can see, it's building the preview. So it's currently like rendering the video. And as you can see with this script that I currently have, this voiceover is going to be one minute and six seconds. Now, then I can start changing and building my voiceover. It's already selected. So everything here is already ready. I can play this. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial. 
as you can see, I'm then generating the voiceover. I could export that already, but I wouldn't do that yet if I were you. And I'll show you why right now, and then I'll show you how to export it. So the problem is that sometimes specific words or specific sentences don't really line up that well, and it sounds a bit odd. So what you can do is change it yourself. Now for that, there's an editing system in place on this software. So first of all, you have the pitch setting, which allows you to change the pitch. You then also have the speed setting to change the speed. You can also add pauses and you can change pronunciation like that. And you can change or add emphasis. So there's a lot you can do to make it sound different or better. I'll demonstrate how it works right now. So for example, we change the pitch to let's say 15%. There we go. We put the speed up by 15% as well. And we're gonna add a pause. Did you know that Amsterdam and then I want to pause for example. You click there and then you can choose extra weak, weak, medium, strong, extra strong. And that's the length of the pause that you have. I'll add a strong one. Then in order to regenerate that, you can click right there. And then it's gonna regenerate your audio, which is currently doing. Once that is done, then you can play it. I'll play it for you now so that you can see the difference. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? You can see the voice changed, plus it took a big pause at this moment right here, which is exactly what I instructed it to do. Now let's say that the word football, he doesn't say correctly. I will double click it and you can do that with any word just like that. Double click it, click on pronunciation, and then you get a list of different options that you can then choose. So that is what it currently sounds like. Football. Football. But if you want it to be different, for example, you can choose this one. Let's generate a preview. Football. You can see still sounds pretty similar. So maybe test this one. Football. You can see there are a ton of different ways they say it. They're slightly different. Depending on the word, that might be a big difference, but you get the point. Once you get the one that you then want to use, for example, this one, I click apply to project, click yes, continue, pronunciations updated, and there we go. I've just changed the pronunciation of that specific word. Then next up, you can click here on emphasis and you can add an emphasis on specific parts of your sentence. It's currently rendering our script. That's because I just changed the word football. And there we go, here it is. So this is what that looks like. Now, this is a big block. Now, what you can do is click here, click there, click there, click here, just like that. You're allowed up to five, as you can see, only five emphasis can be added per sentence. If you wanna reset it, you click here. If you wanna preview it, you click here. So I'm just gonna go back to a smaller sentence because it's easier. We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. That is a good one. What I'm gonna do right now first is generate the audio and then I'll show We're you- We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. What it sounds like as of right now, there you go. And then what I'm gonna do right now is do captivating city. I'm gonna add a higher emphasis there, just like that. Click apply. Is then gonna regenerate the audio. And then I can play that for you guys right now. We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. And then as you can see, that sounds different with the emphasis on it. So that's how you can add that. And that's basically how you can build out your entire voiceover. So you can continue doing that. Now, if you click right here, you'll see the timeline. So if you click here, you can generate the audio. It's gonna build the preview. And you can simply read along the script in the timeline right here so that you can test whether everything sounds good or not. You can also add videos in here, music, but I've shown you that in the full platform guide that I've made about this. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below so you can watch the full tutorial. When it comes down to just generating the voiceover, we are now done. Simply do that through your entire script and you can then export the file. If you want to test to see what it sounds like, you click right here. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. All right, that is what it sounds like right now. So I don't like the pitch. I'm gonna reset that to the default, generate this again to see if it's better, and then I will export it if I like it. And that's how you can go about creating these voiceovers. If you like what this can do for you, I'll leave a link to this in the description down below so that you can get started with a free trial on the software. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial 
and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. And there we go. That sounds fantastic. Exactly what I need. What you can do then is click export. Now, depending on the pricing plan that you have, you can either export up to X amount of hours per month or more. I currently have the pro plan, so I'm paying about $47 per month for this so that I can generate a lot, a lot of voiceovers for all the content that I need. Click download. And there we go. It's now going to export my files. It's going to render this. Now, as soon as this is done rendering, it says successful. Click download. And there you go. You have generated text to speech. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. Leave a like on the video if this helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.